If you're watching this, my name is Mercedes Ferreira. I'm a climate scientist at the University of South Florida, and I have been kidnapped. I don't know what these criminals are up to, but they have also taken my computer with all my research on carbon capture, which is a very crucial technology to, to solve all climate change problems. And I heard them talk about asking for a ransom of $10 million, and that if they don't receive it in 72 hours, they're going to kill me. And I'm like, oh my God! how long ago this video was recorded? Uh, according to her intel, approximately an hour ago. Okay, so she says the deadline is in 72 hours. So that gives us about three days. So that's 72 hours. <clears throat> you better keep up, rookie. Yes, sir, I'll make a note to rescue this climate change alarmist within 72 hours. Whoa, 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 whoa. Tell me you're not one of those climate change deniers. Let's save this conversation for another time. <laughs> Jason, think about it. We are about to save the fucking planet. I'm going to retire like a fucking king, okay? So, we find her. She saves the planet. Thus, we, saves the, we save the planet. So, it's more on us than her. It, without us, she's dead. So, it's pretty much like solving the whole chicken and the egg problem. What came first? We did, of course. So what are we in this hypothetical? The chicken or the egg? That's really not important, Jason. It's not important. Oh, we got a call coming in. Oh, whoa! It, it, it's her! Holy it's shit. her! Tell us what happened. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah. Well, last night, when I was coming back from work, and I got out from my car, there was a couple of guys that jumped me, and uh, I can't remember much after that. I just remember, you know, waking up in this room, and uh, I was carrying my computer with me, and it had all my carbon capture research on it, and I was, I was afraid. This guy so ridiculous of this. What do you mean by that? Well, my research is like a crucial component for carbon capture plants, and with this technology, we will be able to remove all the atmospheric greenhouse gases that we have accumulated because of, you know, human dirty technology is based on fossil fuels. This is well, it makes it sound as if human innovation is a problem. No, I mean, uh, yeah, the, the problem is the negative impact of such innovation, which happened to affect, you know, the only planet that we have to live on. Wow. Well, so I, I mean, we, you, Doc, you can save the world with this? I'm sure a technology that saves the world costs quite a bit of money to develop. Uh, of course. And I'm sure you expect the government, which really means us taxpayers, to fund your little experiment. Wait a minute. If something like this can save the world, don't you think it's ideal for us to pay for it? Oh, how presumptuous, thinking I'm okay with shelling out my money for your fancy research. All right. Let's put in the dick here. <clears throat> I am Mercedes Ferreira. I am kidnapped, okay? I'm pretty sure your job description includes something along the lines of serving and protecting, something that I find really helpful right now. So how about you do that for me? We are about to save a known world researcher, Jason. Thank God nobody else found this video before we did and snatched the glory away. Charlene, take that shit! Take it! You're gonna be so sorry you dumped my ass a long time ago so you can sit on your fat ass and collect alimony. Fuck you! <sighs> Let's rewind a bit. How did you manage to record a video, and then send it to us after you were kidnapped. Dude, I'm a scientist, okay? <laughs> I'm always prepared. I always carry a camera with me in case I need to record something for my research. This time, these guys weren't able to find it, though, because I managed to shove it down. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of detail. Oh, my. Too much detail. Okay, I don't know what you guys are... No, 
No, no! I shove it down the front of my bra. Oh my god, I can't believe you guys are thinking of that. That's just unhygienic. Let me tell you, that's just too much effort for you guys. Stop, stop. Doctor, yeah. I am so sorry. My apologies. Uh, but yes. I think or not, I don't judge. Please, please do what they say. I mean, if I die, the planet, as we know it, dies too. Okay? Please. Oh, that's a bit over dramatic, don't you think? To me, the planet looks fine. There's a lot of smog in the air, but what's the problem with a little air pollution, you know? Wow, okay, okay, so. This is pretty clear that you have no idea what climate change is, and apparently you think that air pollution and air quality are the same thing. No, dude. But since you ask, what's the big deal about climate change? Let me tell you a little bit about it. There's tens of millions of climate refugees that have to leave their native countries because they can no longer survive in there. There's communities all over the world that are constantly displaced because of salt water intrusion, because of sea level rise, because of wildfires, because of crop destructions, and the list goes on. And that is not only happening in developed countries. No, that's also happening in the United States as well. Hello, Florida. Ma the ma line. Ma 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 I understand this is very difficult for you, but we are not in a position to negotiate in a hostage situation. That's entirely up to the feds. Thank you. And then they'll take all the credit. Uh -huh. You're absolutely right. Hey, Doc. So, would you tell us exactly what you are? That way we can come rescue you? No negotiations. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah, no negotiations, guy. Nobody has time for that. I mean, just give him, give him the $10 million and that's it. Yeah, then I'm free. Exactly. Yeah, we, we can't comply with the people that drugged you and kidnapped you. There's no way. But they didn't like drug me, drug me. You like they did it in your video that you were drugged. Yeah. Yeah, my video, that's right. I mean, I did say I was drugged because I was. And um, yeah. Um, so the question was. What else can I remember? Uh, yeah, so there were like a palm trees and um, a beach and fancy hotels. Yeah. That doesn't really say anything. That could be anywhere in Miami. I got a cousin who went to the Miami Beach and yeah, I visit all the time, there, and that's know, all I see. That sounds pretty much like any beach resort. You got to be a little bit more specific with that, please. Okay. Um, yeah, so there were a lot of uh, scary dudes. With guns and a helicopter with a guy that was named Vince Gruber. Yes, he had a German accent and a, a goatee and a suit. That's right. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Time is yeah, all right. the the here. I'll run that search on the database and see what's up with Hans Gruber. Yeah. No, 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 no. But, so stop researching so much. You need to understand that time is of the essence here. My research is so important that we're going to be able to take carbon dioxide, billions of it, out of the atmosphere, which is a hundred times more than what we currently have. If you save me, you save the planet. I told you. That's very impressive, doctor. That sounds very expensive, doctor. I already hate paying taxes. Okay. How is cost an issue when the alternative is that we die? Hey, you know, I just googled it right now, and apparently this technology, it could actually remove up to 90% uh, of carbon dioxide. Yes. Very interesting. see that. She wrote this article. She could be making this shit up. Jason, we really oh. need to find her as soon as possible, okay? I mean, the world could go to hell. I hate to burst your bubble, buddy, but she's a fraud. What? I looked it up, and she said she was kidnapped by a German guy named Hans Gruber. That also happens to be the name of the main villain in the movie Die Hard. Well, I'm reading here, Jason, that <laughs> Die Hard is based off a true story. Yes, there's an actual fuel... Foxville field terrorist named Hans Gruber. It's the same guy. We're in a movie. There's an actual fossil field terrorist named Hans Gruber. Right. Like, 
Yippee ki yay, motherfucker. Right, yippee ki yay. No, I don't believe any of this, okay? Even if global warming is true, it's all because of natural causes. For example, I was reading how increased volcanic activity around the world, that's what's causing these rising temperatures. Oh my gosh, dude. Eruptions release chemicals that can actually cool down the earth for a year or two. So no. Okay, yeah. dude. Maybe the sun is hotter these days, dude. Wow. Okay. I think I'm gonna skip on this stupidity. I'm not even gonna entertain it with an answer. Oh my god. Goodness, you people exaggerate everything. You and the mainstream media. It's so cold outside that when I turn on the TV and I see the president on his soapbox talking about global warming, what is he wearing but a trench coat? Riddle me that. You know what? That's actually true. I remember that back in the 70s, Thank you. they used to tell us that we should burn more coal right. in order to warm up the planet because they were expecting a second ice age mm -hmm. in Back. Mm -hmm. I'm reading right here on my phone right now mm -hmm. that back in World War II, mm -hmm. the Germans invented this atmospheric ice gun that could what? freeze bullets in midair. Huh? But there was an accident, something happened, of course, and the world cooled down. What the fuck are you reading? No, no, no. The point is, the planet is fine, the people are screwed. Changing that's not going to solve anything. The planet's going to be here long after we're gone. I don't know about that, Jason. I mean, Mercedes is pretty right about what she says. And I don't, I will believe her any day of the week over any media that you're swindled by. I'm swindled. You just believed a story about a Nazi ice gun <laughs> that you happen to read on Google. It is a known fact, Jason, that you cannot believe anything that you read on the internet before it's approved beforehand. Just like Mercedes research. Oh, 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 no, 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 no. Let's not do that. Let's not equate my research with whatever bullshit you guys can find on the internet in those little stupid blogs or just random media where those little commentators think that their opinions are as valid as scientific research, which by the way, mine is because mine is actually published in scientific journals that have to be peer reviewed by other scientists in order to ensure accuracy of data. Okay, you do you even know what that is? No. They should just let people like me decide what's true and what's not. That's exactly right. Well, this is more difficult than defending my fucking doctoral thesis. Your time is running out, Jason. Please, God, if you help me with this guy, this case. I no, no, no. No, it's not up to God, guys. It's up to you, too. Now, where is my money? I mean, no, no money. Money. The evil mastermind Hans Gruber needed that money. Look at this, this, has, this has gone way too far, Jason. Just look at her. She's frightened for fuck's sake. Oh. Yes, I'm frightened. Oh. Help. Dr. Ferreira, I'm really sorry about this whole thing. I, but you haven't really told us exactly where you are. Yeah. She hasn't told us where she is because there's no concrete information to base anything off of because her whole story is a house of cards. A cocoon of deceit. How do you know a climate scientist is lying? Because her lips are moving. You know what? This is exactly the reason why. <laughs> You're gullible, selfish, self-centered. You believe in conspiracies, and let me tell you something. Climate change is very, very real. No, it isn't. Do you know why Charlene left you? How did I even end up dialing this number? Fuck, her. fuck you, Jason. The reason why you're happy is because you know her research is going to be a profound success. And you don't want that to happen because you want to keep the $10 million because you want the best to investigate this. Because that you. is the stupidest fucking thing I've ever heard. And that's coming up hot on the heels of what you just said today. My okay, God. God. You are heads broken. Fucker, you are under oh, arrest. Oh, 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 I don't oh, want you to remain oh, silent. Get Anything out. you say will be used against you in the corner of all motherfuckers. Oh, no. Hello? No. Oh, my gosh. What the fuck just happened? I mean, I can tell those two were like massive idiots, but this. Oh, how did they even?
them manage to arrest each other. Hmm? No. <laughs> I guess I'm gonna have to keep on relying on applying on those very slow, stupid grants to keep on funding my research. Ah! What does a scientist need to do nowadays to get some damn ransom money? Oh, I'm dead. I know we should. I guess I'm more fake it napping for a while now, huh? No. <sighs> What's on Netflix tonight?